y'all. Today is the day that we leave on the auto train for Florida. It's actually not too bad here in Northern Virginia. <clears throat> Cameraman and I came from Maryland though, and it's a lot of snow there. There was probably, what do you think, five inches last night? Um, so we had planned, because we were worried, because they were calling for this big winter storm, to take the bikes to our friends. It's only like 20, 25 minutes outside of the auto train. Um, just because we didn't know how the roads were going to be. So we made sure that we had uh, our trailer and the bikes. Um, we were trying to decide if we're going to try to ride to the station or if we're going to trailer to the station. So, like I said, the roads are not too bad here. Um, but it is slick and it is icy. So we had considered if it is safer to trailer there um and we're trying to decide we do have all of our cold weather gear that's another issue if you guys are planning to do this and a lot of you have told me that you've thought about trying to catch the auto train and take it down to florida um if you're trying to do this in the winter the one issue is that you have to wear all your heated gear to get to the train station here in virginia but you're probably not gonna want all your heated gear when you get down to Florida and then you have to pack it with you and take it on your bike. So just a consideration for you guys and something that we're trying to figure out right now. But that was our hope in doing this trip was that we would do this, iron out some of the kinks. And then if some of y'all wanted to give it a try, we could give you some tips. Stay tuned, we'll let you know what we do. All right guys, so I think that we are going to trailer the bikes to the auto train. Um, just because we pulled them out of our buddy's parking lot and it is really slick. There's a lot of ice. Um, you can see ice on the ground everywhere and we just don't want to be taking any chances. So I think we're going to trailer them. We're going to load them up in the trailer. Um, Michael shoveled snow out of the way. So this will be an adventure. Y'all, we're here at the train station. We had a trailer. I don't know how this is going to work. So, it's an adventure, always an adventure. But here's the train. Hmm. We'll let you know how it goes. All right, y'all, so we just talked to the guy. He told us where to check in. Um, we, it's about noon. They opened up at 11.30. I actually thought it was 11. 11.30 motorcycle loading. Um, <clears throat> but we're here now and they we brought the trailer and truck in. There's nowhere to leave the trailer and truck, they told us where to go so we're gonna go over here load the bikes and then michael's gonna take the trailer back to our buddy jay's house it's gonna stay at our buddy jay's house for the week and we'll be on our way but i'll keep you guys posted all right so we got the bikes in here we had to load our bags and helmets and everything on the bikes um because we can't carry luggage on so we're getting them out of the trailer we'll let you know how it goes went back to do mine um i was waiting over here with this guy who's got his bike check out that new crash bar a lot of snow still everywhere as you can tell All right, y'all, so they are telling us that if we want to leave our bags on the bikes that we're going to, and helmets, we're gonna have to sign a waiver that they're not responsible for any of our stuff. Now they told us we could bring them on the train with us, but we don't have a, a room, a stateroom, we just have seats. 
So we didn't think it would be the best idea. So they do just, have overhead storage. Though. They do. They said they had overhead storage. So just know that if you guys are going to make this trip, um, if you leave stuff on your bikes, you'll have to sign a waiver. We checked in to uh, the train station. We're going to drop off the trailer. They gave us a little ticket. They assigned us seats, um, which I don't know how they assign seats, but the guy told us that we have good seats. So supposedly we're supposed to gonna, uh, get food on the auto train, dinner, um, but right now we're going to take care of the trailer and then we'll come back and board and we get on. I'll show you our seats. Man, no. hey gosh, dang. <laughs> no, I don't like being cold, Michael. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you, sir. Thank you. than I was expecting. Definitely larger than airplane seats. So much leg room. Yeah, look. Cameraman can extend his legs all the way out. So it is a pretty good and comfortable option. Oh, and, and it comes with electrical cords. So we did not realize that it has electrical outlets, but it does, which is nice because you can charge your phone or whatever. So definitely a good option. Yeah. Wait, do you have your wallet? Ooh. Michael, do yeah. you have your wallet? Yeah, I got it. Let me hold this. No, for what? Okay. I got the wallet. Okay. All right, y'all. So we're going to take you to the cart where the food is. Well, check out which I thought was included, but it's not. Maybe breakfast is. Yes, that's Shit in this little part in between the two cups. I do kind of wonder how you don't get hit. <laughs> yeah, five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Teach you everything. Good. <laughs> I teach you everything. Yes. I'm a first timer too.
Cheese, right? And we're gonna cut it up and put it inside, or should we get a cheeseburger? This, this, that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then, do we want anything else? We have two drinks back there, right? Something like that. Not bad. And we got drinks. We, still, we don't need any drinks. I mean, we've only been on the train for two hours. I was considering. No, I'm not going to drink. Oh, you know, right, what else are you doing? Oh, you get a headache. I, I could have one. Because yeah. I was considering the half bottle. Half to eat. Cheap. Okay, good, good point. Good point. <laughs> okay. Do you want a beer, though, with dinner? Nah, I'm all right. Okay. Hey, y'all ready to order? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Um, can we get a cheeseburger, uh-huh. a hot dog, uh-huh. and the uh, white... Cheddar mac and cheese skillet. Oh, the tables are there. So. Those are the places where they told us. All right, y'all. So there was tables here, but those were closed. Let's back here. Yeah. Yes. Looks like yours is. Should we go check it out? Real quick? Sure. All right, I got it. Oh, yeah. 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 Should we sit there? We could. Uh, that might be yeah. kind of more comfortable. Cool, right? Yeah. We left our drinks right there. So we should just get extra drinks here then, because we're going to need more drinks anyway. So we pulled yeah. 20 up, something. Yeah. Um, but if we're going to get more drinks, should we just do it now? Yeah, just get more drinks um, now. Do you just want to split like one drink right now? Yeah, it's fine. Uh, can we get a. What, what kind of Powerade do you have? Orange. Orange. Should we get that? That's fine. Can we add an orange powery? Oh. Oop, throw my money, man. No, it's going to be five, probably. Yeah, it's probably five. All these people, like, why are you giving me all these dirty looks? All right, one cheese, rubber, one red, double, mac and cheese, and one cup of it, 23, 25. They say they do have condiments and stuff. Yes. Well, there's sugars and stuff. Oh, I guess condiments are there. Yeah. Thank you. Is there want to drop it there? Here. There. Thank you. I don't know. At least this is way cheaper than the yeah. casino. Way cheaper. Oh, yeah. It says going to take a little longer. Okay, thank you. God, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. There's some like actual napkins. Y'all, I didn't realize it was all microwave food. <laughs> but I'm really hungry. So. Hey guys, um, let me make the lids so be careful. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I got your cup. That's Thank my waitressing day. Look at that. The fact that people don't have to be in the city anymore for work. It's a scary thing. Tremendous. Okay. Now, y'all, you're going to have a classic Westminster special, <laughs> which is mac and cheese mixed with hot dogs. Yeah, looks, looks so, right. so right. <laughs> Michael, is this better or worse than the food when you were in the Navy? Um, I haven't even had tried it yet, so. Well, like, the, the like, I love it. <laughs> I mean, it's similar. Really? I mean, when we get hot dogs in the name of it, I mean, yeah, the buns that doesn't feel like a brick. So that's already a win. You know? <laughs> Is that better than the Navy? Yeah, I would say it's, it's definitely better than the Navy. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just busy over here cooking up the Westminster special. <laughs> What's going on in your mind? <laughs> how I can this efficiently chop this hot dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm having issues watching you chop this hot dog off. <laughs> <laughs> this looks really happy doing it. <laughs> it's delicious. You hold it like a pencil and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was hot, so I'll get out. <laughs> oh, I gotta pull it apart. We can't have that. <laughs> All right, now for the stirring technique. <laughs> Y'all, this is uh, interesting, to say the least. So, cheese all seems to have gotten stuck at that end. <laughs> See, you know what I feel like, Michael? I feel like a different crowd could not appreciate this as much as the motorcycle crowd, don't you think? This is some real motorcycle crowd. Mm, not very hot though, it's been around since, you know, beginning of time. <clears throat> you know, it's been passed down from generation to generation. I mean, it was, you know, the first meal that I ever had in your house growing up. Yeah. I still remember that to this day. Uh huh. I'd say not bad for what's on the train, you know. But apparently, the, what they say, uh, if you have. Uh, not too a, bad. It's not bad? It's okay. They said that if you have a stateroom. Like, it's hot, <laughs> Michael. I want you to burn your mouth. You're trying not to feed me, you're trying to starve me. But it was Can't hot. Like, told you it was hot. You didn't give me hot dogs. You need some. A good bite with a lot of protein in there. It's not that bad. It's, it's acceptable. Now, the one little end of hot dog that I have left, I should try with the bun. Ooh, that's a bad sign. The bun won't rip. That's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, I think they were trying to tell us that um, we should come into here to play cards and talk because people care. are there. Oh, I know you don't care. I'm just saying, like, the hair is more like, <laughs> what are you going to do, kick me off the side? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, they need to figure out what's wrong with this train. This, this thing won't go fast. Yeah, how come we see all these trains that are, like... Zipping by, like, it's, it's like George the Jetson runner. out here and right. stuff, man. And, and we're over here in this, like... I feel like my brother's stuck in second gear for four years, you know? He went... He never got out of second gear for four years on his dirt bike. Danny? Yeah. And he rode it for four years. He never got it out of second gear. Why? There's, a, there's, there, there's oh, him, there's me. It's up and down, you know? Oh, I'm aware, Michael. That's why it's always funny when people ask me about you being a twin. And I'm like, oh my God, it's not what you think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not even close. I mean, what? <laughs> that, uh, uh, yeah, we got firewood the other day. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Danny. He doesn't watch, does he? he told, I don't know. He turns people into it. So apparently people at his work now watch it. So they're probably going to tell him that he said it. All right. <laughs> I didn't realize how hungry I was. I was eating some of this because I know you want to talk. I have condiments on it and yeah, I don't know. What is it? It's not that bad. The bun's the worst part. They really just need to make the. Uh, I don't know. Something else. Like the bun should be separate. Alright, so. I understand that they're working with microwave food, but like. A cheeseburger patty and the cheese could go in there, and the ham and the ch and the hot dog separately from the. And it could have fresh buns, and that would greatly but improve the experience. That's how they kept the price so cheap. Is having a whole microwavable thing? Right. So it's only one step versus two. Mm -hmm. yeah.
I'm not gonna lie, the macaroni was probably our best choice. I said, I'm not gonna lie, the macaroni was probably the best choice of the items. Yeah, it was good actually. I didn't, it didn't look good to me in the beginning, but I enjoyed it. I mean, good is relative. <laughs> did you not? Did you want more of this burger? No, sir. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I just put all this stuff on. I, I ate half so that you could put all this stuff on the other half because I knew half. that you wanted to. That's a bigger half than a half. I'm good. I We've discovered something very unsatisfactory about the auto train, and that is that they tell you that they're going to get in an hour and a half before you actually do get in. Cameraman's very angry that it is done. I mean, it's a long ride on a train for literally anyone. Like, you just sit here all day and all night, and it's a lot. So, it was fine until probably about 6.30, 7 this morning, and we were ready to get off. An extra hour and a half has not made us in the best of all places, I'll say. Y'all, we're free at last. It was hours, hours late. Um, so that was frustrating, um, but we're here now. It's not as warm as I was hoping, but it's still early and it's supposed to be in the 70s the next couple of days, so I'm super excited for that. Finally, y'all. Whoa. This is what's going on with my with our bikes. Uh, finally, it is on this noon. We were supposed to get in at 8 a.m. And uh, just getting our bikes now. They do appear to be here and unharmed though. So we got that going on. So y'all, my battery is dead and Michael's gonna try to pop it because it's so difficult to get to my battery. I think it must be dead because the auto train was shaking and the alarm was going off. So. Um, I guess I should have disconnected my battery tenders or something. Michael's bike started up just fine. Um, it's just that my battery is incredibly difficult to get to. So I'm sure those of you that have the same bike as me know what that's like. Well, y'all, Michael was able to jump it. So we are going to be off shortly. 